HTML blocks. On the left of our course, you can see three blocks. There's a welcome block with an attractive image to welcome learners. There's a help block which has a link to contact the support team. And there's a widget-like block with a Twitter stream in it. These three blocks are actually the same type of block known as an HTML block in Moodle. And this is a very customizable block where you, the teacher, can add your own text, images, links, or within reason, code. So let's take a look at adding an HTML block. It doesn't actually matter if you can't understand HTML, that's just its name. And to add this block, as with any blocks, we need to click the Turn Editing On button or the link Turn Editing On in the Administration block. That then allows us to select HTML block from the Blocks drop-down. Even though we've already added three blocks, we can still see HTML in the drop-down because there isn't a limit to the number of HTML blocks you can add to your course page, unlike some other blocks which may only be added once. As you add a new block, it always appears at the bottom. We can move it either by dragging and dropping or by clicking onto the icon and selecting the area we want it to go to. Then to configure it, we click the icon and it may be different if you have a different theme and we're presented with Moodle's text editor. So we can give it a title and then use the features of the text editor. For example, we could add images, emoticons, media, links and format it. We can add our own personalised content. Some sites provide you with embed code allowing you to use information from their site in yours. You can display a Google map like this or a book list from Amazon. We're going to use embed code to add a weather report for Paris. So we need to find a site online that will give us some code and copy it. And then in our text editor, make sure we click the code icon before we paste it in. Otherwise it won't work. Then we can decide where the block is to appear. Whether we want it visible or not, we do. And then save the changes. And we see we've customised an HTML block to display the weather attractively on our course page. Easy. So the HTML block is one that's well worth exploring to add some personalised features to your course.